In this video, we'll be taking a look at MS Dart, which stands for Microsoft Diagnostics and Recovery Toolset. So we've got an ISO image here of that uh, CD, and what I'm going to do is boot up my virtual box to show you what it looks like and how useful it can be. So I've already got it set in place here. I'm just going to load up the virtual box. Now, obviously, you would be burning this to a CD and actually boot to the CD. Okay, so don't worry about that if it's in a virtual environment. It's just to show you guys what it's all about. So let me just load this up quickly and once this is loaded you should see a little uh, Microsoft Corporation down the bottom loading okay this is not actual Windows loading it's booting up the uh, ISO image and you should see some sort of a uh, recovery console menu so let's just go no there and also let's just select a language that's suitable for us um, United Kingdom see if I can find it if I can't I'll just use US, it doesn't really matter for this uh, tutorial ok I can't, I'm not going to sit there and try and scroll through this quickly oh there it is, I can quickly see that there, ok done just click next and uh, there we have our drive that it wants to load in so I'm just going to go next for that ok so there you've got the uh, choose a recovery tool and you've got the standard uh, startup repair, system restore, and Windows complete PC restore, and also memory, uh, sorry, Windows memory diagnostic tool and command prompts. Okay, so they're useful tools in, them, in their own right, really, but we've also got uh, MS Dart down the bottom here, which, uh, as I said, Microsoft Diagnostics and Recovery Tool Set. Click on that, and this gives you a load of really useful tools that you can use. Now, we've also got here ERD Registry Editor. If I click on that, this opens up the registry and allows you to um, edit the registry, delete keys if you want to delete keys in there, or change any sort of registry problems that you may have. We also have Locksmith, which is, uh, you've seen me use this before, which actually restores or resets the uh, administrator, and pa administrator password or the user account password. Okay, as you can see here, we've, we can change these. Okay, so that's that. That's very useful. Also, we've got Crash Analyzer, which actually analyzes dump files, you know, like the mini dump files that you see in Windows XP. This allows you to crash that, uh, not crash those, diagnose those so you can actually see what the crash files mean as in the blue screens and stuff like that okay so let me just uh, close that off now file restore this is to restore deleted files as you can see there pretty simple and uh, basically disk commander repair volumes master boot records and partitions uh, once you come in here you'll see what I mean it's just basically straightforward it's nothing difficult about it OK, so never look at a uh, disk wipe, which obviously does what it says there. Um, I'm not going to click on that one. So we've got disk wipe. And if you wanted to wipe a certain drive, you would just click on that uh, volume or disk. And then you choose which one you want to wipe. And then just start. And that would actually uh, wipe it. Now you've got a single pass, which overwrites um, with a single pass of it. Or you've got the four passes, which is a bit over the top, really. But if you're selling a PC or something like that, you may want to do a more uh, advanced pass on it to actually wipe all the data off so no one can re recover it. So we've got computer management, which uh, does what it says there. Basically, you can see what computer management does, gives you the drives and stuff like that. Okay, we've also got a help uh, down here. I'm not going to bother clicking on that. Explorer, very useful and that allows you to explore the drive, you can see all the information here, you can click on the drive and it shows you all the um, system volume folder there, you can come straight in here and we can restore from here if we wanted to. Uh, we've also got a solution wizard, so basically just open this up and uh, what type of problem is it, is. and it will go through uh, and try and help you okay because it's more wizard based so if you're not uh, very computer savvy you can use this one also TCP IP now if I did click on uh, the actual adder network so we can actually use the internet you would have seen this this wouldn't have been greyed out but it's greyed out here because I never enabled it and this would allow you to change the actual configuration of the uh, TCP IP okay so let's just close that off 
and also we've got a uh, hotfix and installer now that's very useful if you've installed say for instance a uh, hotfix from Microsoft's uh, website or maybe a service pack or something like that and you want to uninstall that um, that actual file you can do that from this environment here okay um, so basically you can go in there and also we've got SFC scan now which is basically system file repair tool it will scan the system for any corrupt files or anything of that nature and replace those files okay so we've also got a search here for search your disks for files that you may want to do manually okay as you can see a pretty self-explanatory really and uh, that's about it really apart from this uh, standalone system sweeper which uh, sc scans your system for malware rootkits and potentially unwanted software okay just, uh, just click on that and that starts the actual scan off okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's just a quick look at this uh, CD just to show you what it can do and how useful it is if you're into PC repair or something like that it's very useful to have around and if you're not into PC repair and you want to have a, a handy little tool like this then obviously it's uh, handy to have go out and buy one okay thanks very much for watching my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please remember hit that subscribe button also if you like uh, what I do then head over to our forums uh, www.brightechcomputers.com forward slash forum and you can join the community over there and start posting. If you've got any problems with your computers head over to the forum don't private message me it's not worth it because I'm not going to answer it I've got too many there and you'll get more chance of getting your PC repaired from over there okay so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now